welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine. If you're new here, I'm a college kid who likes to make all kinds of videos. So don't forget to subscribe and follow for more interesting content. And today's video is actually a continuation of my second last one, which is to showcase different Vanderbilt forms on campus. So yeah, last time we covered Commons and Branscombe, and this time we'll be covering some new territories. So today we will be looking at Highland and residential colleges. Again, if you're not familiar with the whole Vandy on-campus living system, Highland is its own area um, near the gymnasium and also has a single, double, and four people suite options. And residential colleges are simply just dreams for upperclassmen to get into because um, I covered it in my other video about whether you should choose to come to Vandy or not, that um, you actually have to lottery into the residential colleges. Um, so I think the admission rate for freshmen or rising sophomores is about 50%. So you have a 50% chance of getting into one of these nice colleges, or sorry, nice dorms or not. And as your year progress, it actually gets harder to get into because people can squat or they just choose to remain in their residential college rooms. and. Yeah, so it's pretty hard to get into um, in general. So yeah, they're also really, really nice as you will see in the later part of this video where I'll be showcasing a double and a four people suite. So yeah, just stay tuned in and without further ado, let's just get into the video. Well, I'm Kenny, I'm a sophomore here at Vandy, class of 2023, and uh, here's my Highland single double. It's been great, I mean, I think compared to Res Ed, I'm a little bit biased here, but compared to Res Ed, it's really nice, especially if you get like a double, you get your own living space, you get an actual full kitchen, and then you just have like a normal room and your own bathroom, so it's been, it's been really nice. The only downfall that some people have is that you have to like walk to Maine to get food, but I mean, in normal years, besides regarding the pandemic, the rec is not even a five minute walk. And so, but when you get tested, which is this year, it's it's very nice to be very close to the rec, especially if you have any club sports too. It just makes your commute just super super short. Oh, I was so when I moved in here, I was so surprised because like there's a living space because when you live in Commons, you have like a tiny like the living space. Our living space right now is pretty much the size of a normal like commons dorm room. So I was absolutely shocked. Like there's a living space where you have a thing, there's like a couch that comes with this room. So compared to commons, I was like, wow, I was blown away. Plus like in commons, you also have to share your own bathroom unless you live in north and that's only like two floors. So, and then here you have a closet, living space. So it's just outstanding, like just super shocked when I like came in here for the first time um, compared to living in commons. Well, because you're on the meal plan, even though you have a kitchen, you still have to be on the meal plan. So you have like 19 meals, um, but I do like home food a little bit. So I'll go grocery shopping um, once a week and get some food. So I'll probably cook like two, three meals during the week just to get a feel, homey feel in the year. I do like studying in my room. And then on the weekends, I, I play a little bit of video games. So it's, um, it's nice to transition over to, you know, like the weekends to play some Xbox with my friends online. But mostly it's just been you know, a, time, a place to study and a place to relax after coming back from classes. It's been a little bit different this year because of COVID, so a lot of your classes are on Zoom, so you, I mostly do some of my classes here. But um, it's nice to, for the things I do in person, just to come back. So I like, go to the lab Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's just nice to come back here, chillax a little bit, play little phone games and stuff like that. So, but yeah, mostly the room, a little bit of studying, a little bit of gaming, and then obviously here for sleep, because <laughs> we need that all the time. Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm a junior double majoring in HAD and CS, and I'm so happy to show you around my dorm. Um, I lived in Commons for the past two years because I'm an RA in my sophomore year, and this is my first time living in an upperclassman dorm, and I absolutely love it because I feel like you know people have um, are a lot more dependent with our kitchen and with our bathroom. Um, we're able to customize the living space a little bit more. Um, this is all wallpaper on the wall. And on top of all that, we also have a great location because we're right next to the rec where there are a lot of workout facilities and we're also right next to the uh, Vanderbilt Medical Center um, which, uh, where a lot of pre-med students can get internships and shadow doctors there. I 
definitely love all the activities that are going on. Um, typically, when it's not COVID, we have tea time, which is when um, people from all over Highland Quad get together. Um, I think it's really awesome that we have so many bonding activities, even when we're not freshmen anymore. Um, like Sophia said, I love location. I take so many workout classes, and I love that I can just like come back and shower right away in my own space. Um, speaking of the bathrooms, I love that it's cleaned weekly. I think that it's so convenient and so nice. Um, and I also love that we have a printer right downstairs, so like if I ever need something printed, I can just um, take the elevator down and yeah, it's fast. I think another great perk is being able to live with some of your closest friends. So our suite has three people and of course I'm living with my best friend. Um, it's just been great to be able to share a living space, um, the living room, the kitchen, be able to cook and bake um, as we want. And yeah, it's just been really nice to be able to be so close with college friends. I think this year was a lot easier because all our classes, well most of our classes were online, but typically we are very far from most of the like lecture halls. So for example, Wilson is one of the furthest walks from here. That's like a good 25 minutes if you're like taking your time. Um, in addition, we don't have a ton of food options super close by. We have a munchie mark just downstairs, but they don't serve like hot meals for lunch or dinner or anything like that. Um, and so walking all the way to Rand or to Greens or to Commons or anywhere else, you know, any other dining hall sometimes can be a bit of a hassle. Yeah, and in addition to that, our rooms are kind of smaller. Um, even though we have a really large living room and kitchen, um, our actual bedrooms are smaller than a lot of the other dorms on campus. Um, and especially for me, because I'm sharing one of the rooms with another roommate, um, it's sometimes a little bit crowded when both of us are in the room, um, either to study or to sleep. Um, so I, I, that's kind of one of the drawbacks of living in Thailand. What's up? I'm Baker. I'm a sophomore. I'm a civil engineer. I'm going to give you guys a room, tour of my room. Overall, I've enjoyed Zephos. It's really nice. Uh, the rooms are really spacious. The ceilings are very high. Even if when my bed is lofted, I can sit on them, so that's very nice. The closet space is great. Um, I get to live next to two of our other friends, which is also really nice. Next year, we'll be living in a suite, uh, which will be awesome because we'll have our own room each and have a common space. Uh, the downsides of Zeppos, I would say, is if you're more a social person, uh, and this could be a, attributed to COVID, but there's less quote unquote going on in Zeppos. The people are less outgoing in the common areas than they were on the freshman part of campus, commons. Uh, but that's the only downside to Zeppos I see. It's been great so far. Yeah, we have a nice area for a TV right here. So we put the, the uh, storage thing on its side and we put the TV on top. We got the Xbox right behind it. We, we grind, I grind Warzone on the weekends. Uh, but yeah. Hi, my name is Sophia Chen and I'm a junior and I'm gonna give you a tour of my EBI suite. So this is a four person suite. So we each have our own single and then we have a common room and a bathroom that we all share. I'm really happy with my room. I got the room that has like a bay window kind of, which I love because I love natural light. Um, so yeah, I love hanging out in my room. I do most of my homework in my room um, because I, I just like my setup. I lofted my bed, so I have a futon underneath. I have a lot of places for people to sit and hang out. Um, my experience has been amazing. I got so lucky because I get to live with three of my best friends here and we all get our own room so if we're tired of talking to each other we can have our own space but then at the same time um, we're always in the common room hanging out um, and yeah it's been amazing. The one thing I wish we had was a st is a stove because I feel like we could cook but I know that um, that requires more cleaning <laughs> so I think the fridge and the sink and the microwave are good. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lauren Gaither and I'm a senior and I'm going to give you a tour of my dorm. I originally was in a triple, which was annoying because we shared the same space and I lived in a single for two years, so it's nice to have my friends near me but not on me all the time. Yeah, so right now we're in the common room and we share our common space. We have a little kitchenette 
And we have our TV here. This is also our dining space. We share a bathroom, the four of us, and then each one of us has our own room. If anything, it's just really long, so like I don't see my roommate on the other end of the hallway a lot because we are so far apart. But the walls are generally thick enough that I don't hear anything. It's just the doors. The doors are very thin, so I can hear things going on in the common room, but I don't hear like my roommate or the girl who lives right next door to me. We're seniors, so we don't have the residential colleges minimum. We have the senior minimum, so we have 14 every week. That's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned in because there is going to be a part 3 to this series. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment and I'll see you guys